and welcome to the Agate Bay YouTube channel. I'm Joshua and the owner of Agate Bay and I travel all around the world to find the most beautiful agates for you. Um, I have been loving agates for about 20 years, so I was still a child back then and I still love them a lot. Meanwhile, I also made agates my business and I grew to become the biggest dealer for high quality agates in all of Europe but I also sell a lot to other dealers all over the world and also ship a lot of high quality agates over to United States. So wherever you are you always have the chance to contact me to get some good quality agates and today's topic of the video is what makes collecting agates fascinating and I think in, in the first place it is emotional collecting. In most cases uh, emotional value is also created about how beautiful you feel a piece in your eyes but not everybody has the same eyes or the same the same view on a piece of course there's factors like uh, fractures or um, uh, large amounts of quartz that decrease the opportunity for somebody to feel like it's a beautiful piece but some people still appreciate quartz pieces or pieces that are colorful with fractures it really doesn't matter. When it comes to value, of course, pieces that have fractures or larger amounts of quartz are much more common than fracture-free pieces and that's also part of the reason why they have a much higher value. So the first agate I want to show you is actually from my latest trip, which was in Malawi, uh, to Malawi, which produces some of the most colorful agates in the, in the entire world and especially some of the highest quality agates that are available for reasonable price, prices on the market right now and um, I'm working together with two large quantity dealers in the United States. If you want to get some Malawi agates yourself, go ahead and contact the Gem Shop or Highland Park Lapidary. Both of them have really good quality Malawi agates in their lineup right now and I'm sure you will be very happy to buy this kind of material. Another piece, and this is just the most crazy story, hard to believe. I mined these, these agates in Malawi some years ago and I think about three years ago, I, I found part of this nodule in, in the rough stones, brought it back to Germany, had it in my showcase for a while. I honestly don't know what, where it is right now, but I think I got it to my polisher, he got it polished and I might have sold it, I just don't remember. But two years later, I sold a batch of rough stones to the gem shop and Veronica, the owner of the gem shop, she found this half of the rough. In, in their shipment in the dirt with hundreds of thousands of these agates probably and I, I recognized this piece when and when she showed it to me and finding the other half of this specimen is with a probability close to zero that's why I love this agate so much it has a really special meaning to me another really remarkable piece that I like so much is from a very very friendly collector uh, in the United States and he had this piece in his collection for a long time I think and he had difficulty to, to let it go. He said he, he really wants me to have a good Lake Superior in my agate collection and uh, he called it the Cobra because of the shape of the nodule. It's got some great parallax which he knows I love and just incredible banding. I was for a slight moment thinking about cutting this piece but I think he would not, not like me to do that and he also said if I want to sell this piece again or if I get close to the thought of cutting this piece he definitely wants to get the chance to buy it back so um, yeah at the moment it will just stay rough and stay with me and I don't have any intentions of selling this one. Another remarkable piece is this parallax agate out of over a hundred thousand agates I've seen in my life for sure this is the best parallax agate I have ever seen and that's just crazy for me to think about. Um, yeah, just stunning piece. I have shown this before on my YouTube channel. Make sure to check out the collection video I posted on uh, YouTube some months ago. There's some really good information uh, about collecting as well. But agates, what makes it really fascinating is that, I mean, you already realized it. Every single stone is so much different from another piece. Like there's so many different combinations you can have with the different layers of the bands, the shape of the nodule, the colors, it's endless. And not one piece looks like exactly like another one. I mean, sometimes you can have that 
pattern is a little bit repeatedly as well as the, the bands and um, the husk and that's how you can, for example, identify from which location an agate is from but there's not a single agate that looks exactly like the other and I think that makes collecting agates unique from collecting any other kind of mineral or gemstone because they have a variety that is unmatched in this collecting industry of stones. This agate also has a really special meaning for me because it is a incredible parallax agate, it is incredible in symmetry, beautiful yellow. I paid a lot of money for it and it was actually the last Laguna agate I bought from who was mining the Laguna agate location at the time. Yeah, really, really nice agate for, for this location as well. Um, I have another really incredible piece and this is probably one of the latest additions to my collection. I got it at the Munich show in a large deal. I bought the entire booth of that dealer um, at the Munich show. This is from the Karoshen location and from that location maybe my most favorite agate I have ever seen. This kind of pink, pink color is one of the most unique colors you will find in the entire world. It is pretty much reserved only for this location. There's no other location that produces this exact kind of color. I have seen a little bit similar color in some Malawi agates and Wave Hill also a location in Australia. Australia resembles this location a little bit but not quite with this color and the sizes in these pieces can be incredible. I mean, you see it in my hands. I cannot even surround it with two of my hands. The eyes in this piece, really just remarkable. It's got parallax in the eyes as well. The contrast in the bands, unbelievable, unbelievable agate. And I just, I just get surprised by pieces like this. And that is what makes it so joyful for me to to deal with agates, to collect agates, to appreciate them, to take pictures, to look at them close up with a magnifier. Agates are really just just stunning and um, I hope you can see that as well. It's really just an incredible thing that nature is producing. Last but not least is another very special agate. I've been getting this from a friend uh, in Hungary and this is a piece of petrified wood in combination with agate and this has two layers with the bark the agate itself it it's like the the entire entire piece of wood petrified and agatized and i think it it is just a remarkable piece you can see all of the rings of the growth of the wood inside of this piece and this is just art by nature and it blows my mind continuously and that's what makes collecting agates worthwhile. These are really, really high quality pieces I've been showing to you today. Some of these pieces in the thousands worth of dollars, um, but most of the agates we're cutting in the workshop, for example, most of them are worth less than five or ten dollars. It's really the exception to cut good quality pieces and having fracture-free pieces, pieces that are free of quartz, that's what really makes it valuable as well as the pattern, the colors, the detail, specialties like eyes, chromatography, stalactites, parallax, and that's what creates a higher value in terms of rarity and aesthetics as well. I hope you learned something from the video. I hope you enjoyed these pieces. I know I've been showing some of these before, but I just can't get sick of them, and I hope you cannot um, get sick of these as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.